Hey everyone, so today is actually a very special day. I'm making really just a quick video and pretty much it is just talking about so February 28th, 2017 marks today my five year anniversary of joining the United States Air Force. So February 28th, 2012 is actually, you know, imagine someone who's lived a sh very sheltered life. Uh, never flew on planes or hardly did and didn't know how to do laundry, didn't know how to iron, uh, was, uh, didn't really go driving around or travel much, uh, didn't know how, didn't, you know, really have control of their money, even though they work and all that. Just like a very uh, sheltered person, you know, they didn't know about life. Getting on a plane, flying to San Antonio to attend the United States Air Force basic military training. It's been five years. And here I am now, so it is very exciting for me and to see the growth and development I've had over those years. I've been able to identify what kind of leader I am, you know, in certain situations, you know, my strengths and weaknesses, and just overall how I've been able to grow and become a better person through learning different skills, not only at work, but just different leadership skills, different I guess, of the abilities that will help me as a person, you know, to deal with certain situations and that I've been able to travel, you know, it's been crazy, you know, visiting 21 countries in Europe and getting to see just different places that I thought I would never be able to, you know, I see it on TV, but it's on there. Uh, overall, you know, working with equipment and items that I never thought in my lifetime I would be using, meeting people of different backgrounds, which has truly been one of the biggest greatest things in the military for me and you know just that's essential is meshing these different kind of backgrounds and working you know trying to develop a common ground with everyone and you know try and get the mission done that's the biggest thing it's so amazing to see how well it gets meshed together and how people work all and get the mission done it's truly enlightening and exciting to see you know I've met, met great people I've had met amazing friends who I still am in contact with. I feel like the Air Force, when you meet friends, they become lifelong friends. And I truly believe that I talk to them, maybe not every day, but you know, if I ever see them in person, I feel like we would pick up and, like where we left off, pretty much, in my opinion, which is truly amazing and speaks volumes. I've met great leaders who have truly helped me develop and also set me an example of like, what kind of leadership skills or how they act I would want to pull and also seeing examples of leadership I would rather not really see like or want to uh, exude or show or become like that person and overall I've found some amazing mentors the mentors who have helped me develop helped me through rough times and you know, helped me guide me to the correct path which has truly been amazing as well I met uh, Air Force family simple as but you know i have my biological family blood related and all that but you know i developed a close-knit relationships with a lot of these people and they become like a second family to me you know we're not blood related but definitely connected in so many numerous ways that's just something great i believe not only in the united states air force but all across all different branches of the military you build such close relationships with people that it transcends those lines and they become actually like family to you so it's been truly a great five years. I can't, you know, um, harp on that enough. It, it's truly changed me as a person. It's helped me, you know, grow and just experience new things in life. You know, I learned how to iron. I learned how to do my own laundry. You know, I lived on my own for the first time in now oh, five years. I, you know, I paid my own bills. I bought new things, you know, made my own money decisions. And it's truly, you know, I bought my own vehicles. You know, it's just truly exciting. You know, I've been doing grown up stuff and experiencing new things. I went snowboarding, zip lining, white water rafting. I saw different, many different sites that I thought I would never see. And, you know, truthfully, if I was still, you know, didn't join the United States military, I don't think I would have ever seen that. And that's the biggest thing I am very, very grateful for. And I feel very blessed about being able to do that. And just meeting all these great people, you know, when I mean people, most likely I'm going to, I'm going to, no, not most likely, but I'm going to tag you guys. Uh, pretty much the, you guys are from the ones I met in DMT, 
or you know we want to sub and hit it some rough times out there but at the same time you know in tech school we learned our job and then of course operation air force uh, the people i've met in spangalum air force base and of course now we're on the filming station also it's just air force base you know just seeing all these different people and getting to know them and connecting with them somehow is truly satisfying very satisfying uh, how do I describe the five years in the Air Force? Uh, pretty much the five years in the Air Force has been a roller coaster ride. You know, I've had those great moments. I've had great accomplishments, you know. At the same time, I've faced many challenges, obstacles, you know, that's been rough on me. But, you know, I've learned a lot about myself. I've seen who's been in my life. I've seen, you know, what kind of leaders and mentors there are and how I should be myself to others in the future when people are in need. And it's really opened my eyes and allowed me to see those kinds of things. And I want to emulate and be exactly like that as well. So that's been a very driving force for me, I believe. And it's just very satisfying and exciting to see that. But overall, it, it, like I said, you know, if you decide to join the military, I never regret this decision. You know, even through these rough times right now. Excuse me. These rough times, you know, what I've been going through and all that. Uh, and, you know, like I said, you're going to have positive times as well. And, you know, you can't just give up and let, you know, how other people's. Uh, actually, a good quote I've learned from uh, one of these chiefs I've heard talk to constantly, you know, with just being advice is you can't let other people's actions dictate how you react. You know, you have certain controls of your actions. You know, in the end of the day, what happens, you have a big factor in it. And yes, sometimes, you know, some things are overblown than what they should be. But at the same time, you know, you have to face the consequences or you have to face what the outcome is because you did have an action. You know, if it's a negative thing, unfortunately, you have to face it. What it is, and you just have to move on from it. And, you know, learn from what you've happened, persevere and grow, you know. Um, I have to, I had to, you know, do that a couple of times throughout my five years because I, I'm not going to lie to you and I would be doing you guys a disservice by saying, you know, everything's been peachy and great because you just, in anything in your life, you're going to face obstacles and challenges that feels like it's bearing down on you, but you have to just overcome and stay strong. And that's what my biggest advice to people who are thinking of joining the United States Air Force or any branch of the military. Remember why you joined. Use that as your pillar of strength, your, uh, fire inside of you to continue to persevere to push through the limits and just to continue to strive for greatness and your goals always remember you know throughout your career how long you know, how long you stay and all that and you know the biggest thing is if you do get out because i'm a six-year contract d and you know it's my fifth year so i have about a year left on my contract and i have to decide if i want to you know reenlist slash extend or just get out and that's the biggest thing is you guys have to, you know, even if you get out, it's okay because, you know, you're doing something that only a couple people, only a small percentage of the U.S. population will ever do in their lifetime. Truthfully, that will never be your time uh, taken away from you. You'll always be a veteran. You served your country. Something that you, you, something that you can say that many people can never say in, truth, in fact. So always keep that in perspective. And the people who I tag on this video, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for being there for my good times and, you know, the times when I needed you. You helped me persevere. You pointed out points of view that I find would never see. And you helped me persevere. You helped me grow. And you helped me, helped me get on the right path to the mentors, to the leaders, you know, who believed in me. And, you know, no matter how much times I stumbled, you guys were there. And, you know, with the friends I made, no matter how many mood swings I had or arguments, you know, or overblowing things, you guys stood by my side, and you understood me, we learned and built those passions, I can't wait for what, to see what the future holds for me, you know, this last year, making that big decision, if I do stay in or get out, it's going to be exciting, and I hope you guys, thank you to, uh, to all the subscribers right now, who have subscribed to my channel, I wish I had started this channel a little earlier, and you guys can see my journey from beginning to end, but you know, it's like, like I just said, you don't, you only have control of what happens now and you know you just have to go with it so i'm just going with it so i appreciate you guys always watching these uh, video, uh, videos and to any of the new subscribers i hope you guys enjoy this content that i'm going to provide and that you 
you know, following me throughout my journey. And I appreciate, you know, when I see those comments below and see I'm actually having an effect with this YouTube channel and videos, and it's just exciting because I am making a difference. And I, even though it might be small, it's just very gratifying. And I go, this is what I, my goal was to, you know, touch out, uh, reach out to others and you know, answer those questions that weren't being answered or give out that information that people have been looking for, you know, just couldn't find. So thank you to everyone who's tagged on this post and thank you to any future, to all my subscribers on YouTube. You guys have truly made this journey enjoyable and to the United States Air Force, you know, I'm truly blessed and grateful for everything you've done. Uh, thank you and everyone on this who's tagged, God bless you guys. And, you know, God bless the United States of America.